Hi. Today we are going to discuss on concentration of the electrons in the conduction band of an intrinsic semiconductors. So we know that in intrinsic semiconductor we having a conduction band and a valency band. So bonded electrons will be exist in the valency band and free electrons exist in the conduction band. Now we are going to deriving a equation. How many charge carriers are exist in the conduction band? For that purpose, we, we are assuming that a conduction band is nothing but it is a collection of plenty of energy levels. The lowest energy level of that conduction band is EC and highest energy level of the conduction band is plus infinity. Therefore, the concentration of the charge carriers in the conduction band is representing with the NC is equal to integral EC to infinity. Why? Because the lowest band is EC and highest band is infinity. So that's why we are taking integral EC to infinity. Next, Z of E. So where Z of E is represent the density of the energy levels. And F of E, the probability of occupying an electron in Z of E energy levels and D. So we are assuming that this is the equation number one. Where NC is the number of electrons per unit volume or density of the electrons in the conduction band. Z of E is the number of possible energy states per unit volume per unit energy range. And F of E is the Fermi distribution function. So Z of E can be written as 4 pi by H cube into 2 Me star whole power 3 by 2 E minus EC power 1 by 2. This is equation number 2. So already we know that Z of E will be indicate the number of possible energy state per unit volume per energy range. So that value is equal to equation number two. Similarly, Fermi distribution function value F of E is equal to one by E power E minus EF by KT plus one. So this is equation number three. Now equation two and three, we are substituting in equation number one. Then it can be written as NC is equal to integral EC to infinity, four pi by H cube into two M E star whole power three by two, E minus EC power one by two into one by e power e minus ef by kt plus 1 into d so in this case first we are writing the constant values that is 4 pi by h cube into 2 m e star whole power 3 by 2 next integral value ec to infinity e minus ec whole power 1 by 2 by e power e minus ef by kt plus 1 into d. So this can be written as, so in this case, the simplification of this equation, this one. So in this case, we are assuming that e power E minus EF by KT is very greater than to one. So if we are neglected plus one, then the equation can be written as like this. 
एन सी इज इक्वल टू फोर पाई बाई एच क्यू इन टू टू एम ई स्टार वोल पावर थ्री बाई टू माइनस ई सी टू इन्फिनिटी ई माइनस ई सी वोल पावर वन बाई टू ई पावर ई एफ माइनस ई बाई के टी इन टू डी दिस इज इक्वेशन नंबर फाइव सो इन दिस इक्वेशन इयर वी हैव ई माइनस ई एफ माइनस ई इज देर सो इन दिस केस आई एम राइटिंग माइनस ई सी एंड प्लस ई सी राइट सो इयर instead of that i am writing this one minus ec plus ec that is equivalent to two only ef minus e by kt only so same then we will get this equation now in this case this can be written as this i am writing this is 4 pi by h cube into 2 me star whole power Three by two integral e c to infinity e minus e c whole power one by two. Next, this is the term. So I am writing this term first as this is e minus e f minus e c by k t. Next term is this one. So that is e power e c minus e by k t d. So this will be the another equation. So After that, we are assuming that e minus e minus here e minus e c by k t is equal to x. Then e minus e c is equal to k t into x, or d e is equal to k t into d x. Then integral values will be change. So in the next step, we are observing that e n c is equal to four pi by h q. 2m e star whole power 3 by 2 e power ef minus ec by kt so these are all constant values on the equation after that integral so here the integration previously it was ec to infinity now it is 0 uh, to infinity and uh, x power one by two e power minus x k t power three by two d x. So now we are calculating this integration value. So that is this equation. So the solution for this equation is root pi by two. So next next step we are substituting root pi by two value here. and simplifying this equation then finally we will get nc is equal to 2 into 2 pi m e star kt by h square whole power 3 by 2 e power ef minus ec by kt so this will indicates the concentration of the charge carriers in the conduction band of the intrinsic semiconductor Thank you.